Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. You know, I'm out here today. I'm hunting for alligators and just relaxing, just recharging my batteries for baseball starting up soon. And I get a text that Robinson Cano has tested positive for steroids, for performance enhancing drugs, a synthetic steroid, and has been suspended for the entire 2021 season. This is the second time that he's tested positive. He tested positive back in like what, 2018, I think it was. That was for a diuretic, they said, which can be used to mask uh, the use of steroids. And so this is the second time he's gone. So he, he won't be able to play this season. Um, he was supposed to make $24 million that he will not collect. Not that he needs it. I mean, well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's not happy that he's going to have to not collect $24 million. He's got a lot of money, I think. Um, but he's got two years remaining on the deal. So now he loses this year and he's got one year left. The Mariners, I think, are still on the hook for like, I think $7.5 million is what I, uh, I saw. But, um, man, this is, this is crazy. First of all, the first thing that I thought of when I saw this is, you know, if you're the Mets, you gave up a, you gave up your, what was it, sixth overall pick? Jared Kellenick, was it sixth overall? Regardless, he's one of the top prospects in baseball. And I know that Cano wasn't the only part of the deal. There were other players involved. But man, you gave up, um, you gave up your top guy, one of the top guys in all of baseball, top prospects in all of baseball for Cano. Now you can't even use him. Um, if you're Cano, it's the second time that this has happened to you. I know you're getting old. I know he's, what's he, 38 years old. I know the, he had a, you know, he hit like 316, I think, this past year. Um, in the shortened season, hit like 10 home runs. The power has gone down over the last few years, but still 10 home runs, not bad. But man, it's the second time. You've already been suspended for it, and now yet do it again. It just makes me upset. I don't know why I got that text. I get so upset. It just, it's like, I don't know. I just, let me know what you guys think about this. But I get so mad. It's almost like I, I feel like I'm still playing for some reason. I'm not. I'm out here hunting gators. But it makes me feel like I'm back playing again and I'm competing, trying to get to the big leagues, trying to get, you know, a spot. I'm trying to compete against all these guys. And you've got guys taking illegal stuff. And I'm not doing it. And it's pissing me off. I, I'm not. <laughs> I haven't played in a long time. I don't know why I'm so mad about this. But I just don't like when guys blatantly go out and cheat to try to get an advantage over other players. It's making me upset. Let me know what you think. If you're a Mets fan, let me know what you think. What are the Mets going to do now? I mean, they may go out. Hey, I know a good second baseman that's a free agent right now, DJ LeMahieu, my favorite player. Guy rakes, and I don't think he's on steroids. Do the Mets go out and try to get him now? This will be interesting. Try to steal him away from their crosstown rival. Um, I don't know. But let me know what you think about this whole thing. Is Cano done? Like, he's going to miss this whole year. Uh, he's still, like I said, he's got one year left. But he's going to be almost like 40 years old, I think, when that rolls around. And uh, I don't know, maybe he just keeps juicing it up and just tries to get another year or so out of his body. But um, steroids are bad. Don't do them. I'm pissed off. Let me know what, uh, what you guys think about this whole thing. In the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. I'm going back in this... Uh, where do alligators live? I don't know. Whatever that is over there. I'm going to catch me one. We'll see you later.